folks dream of the wonders they'll do before their time on this planet is through. Some just don't have anything planned. They hide their hopes and their heads in the sand. Now I don't say who is wrong, who is right. But if by chance you are here for the night, then all I need is an hour or two to tell the tale of a dreamer like you. We all dream a lot, some are lucky, some are not. But if you think it, want it, dream it, then it's real. You are what you feel. But all that I say can be told another way in the story of a boy whose dream came true. I closed my eyes, drew back the curtain to see for certain what I thought I knew. Far, far away, someone was weeping, but the world was sleeping. Any dream will do. I wore my coat with golden lining, bright colors shining, wonderful and new. And in the east, the dawn was breaking, and the world was waking. Any dream will do. A crash of drums, a flash of light My golden coat flew out of sight The colors faded into darkness I was left alone May I return, May I return? To the beginning The light is dimming and the dream is too The world and I We are still waiting Still hesitating Any dream will do Any dream will do Centuries ago, not long after the Bible began, Jacob lived in the land of Canaan, a fine example of a family man. Jacob, Jacob and sons depended on farming to earn their keep. Jacob, Jacob and sons spent all of their days in the fields with sheep. 
Jacob was the founder of a whole new nation. Thanks to the number of children he had, he was also known as Israel, but most of the time, his sons and his wives used to call him Dad. Jacob, Jacob and sons, man of the soil and the sheep and crook. Jacob, Jacob and sons, a remarkable family in anyone's book. Reuben was the eldest of the children of Israel, was Simeon and Levi. Joseph's mother, she was quite my favorite wife. I never really loved another all my life. And Joseph was my joy because he reminded me of her. Through young Joseph, Jacob lived his youth again. Loved him, praised him, gave him all he could. But then it made the rest feel second best. And even if they Imagine any danger He just saw in Joseph All his dreams come true Jacob wanted to show the world He loved his son To make it clear That Joseph was the special one So Jacob bought his son a coat A multicolor coat to wear Joseph's coat was elegant The cup was fine The tasteful style was the ultimate thing and this is why it caught the eye A king would stop and stare And when Joseph tried it on He knew his sheepskin days were gone Such a dazzling Great. coat of many colours How he loved his coat of many colours In a class above the rest It even went well with his vest Such a stunning coat Yellow and green and brown and blue. <laughs> Joseph's brothers weren't too pleased with what they saw. We have never liked him all that much before. And now this coat has got our ghost. We feel like he's unfair. And when Joseph graced the scene, his brothers turned a shade of green. Here's a Handsome, I look smart. I am a walking work of art. Such a dazzling coat of many colors. How I love my coat of many colors. It was red and yellow and green and brown and scarlet and black and ochre and peach and ruby and olive and violet. And I look and handsome, violet. I look smart. I am a walking work of art. Such a dazzling coat of many colors. How I love my coat of many colors. It was red and yellow and green and brown and scarlet and black and ochre and peach and ruby and olive and violet and fall and lilac and gold and chocolate and mauve and cream and crimson and silver and rose and azure and lemon and russet and gray and purple and white and pink and orange and blue! Joseph's coat annoyed his brothers. But what makes us mad are the things that Joseph tells us of, the dreams he's often had. I dreamed that in the fields one
one day the corn gave me a sign Your eleven sheaves of corn all turned and bowed to mine My sheaf was quite a sight to see A golden sheaf and tall Yours were green and second rate And really rather small This is not the kind of thing We brothers like to hear It seems to us that chosen man His dream should disappear I dreamed I saw eleven stars The sun, the moon and sky Bowing down before my star It made me wonder why Could it be that I was born For higher things than you A post in someone's government A ministry or two The dreams of our dear brother are The decades big is yours Repulsive crime. To be a slave, 
situations grave, hey, sold to be a slave. Something to tell you, a story of our time, a tragic but inspiring tale of manhood in its prime. You know you had a dozen sons, well now that's not quite true, but feel no sorrow, do not grieve. He would not want you to. You see, there's one more angel in heaven. There's one more star in the sky. Joseph will never forget you. It's tough, but we're gonna get by. There's one less place at our table. There's one more tear in my eye, but Joseph, the things that you stood for, like love and peace never die. When I think of his last great battle, a lump comes to my throat. It takes a oh, man darling. who knows Joe, no fear darling. to he wrestle with a goat. His blood same code is tribute to his final sacrifice. His body may be past its peak, but his soul's in paradise. So long, little Joe. Adios, buckaroo. Ten four, good buddy. There's one less place at our table. There's one more tear in my eye. But Joseph, the things that you stood for, like truth and life never die. Carve his name with pride and courage. Let no tear be shed. If he had darned taken to Egypt in chains and sold where he was bought by a captain named Potiphar One of Egypt's millionaires Have he made a fortune Buying shares in Pyramids Potiphar had made a huge pile Owned a large percentage of the Nile Meant that I could really live in style And he did Oh, I did Joseph was an unimportant slave who found he liked his master, consequently worked much harder, even with devotion. Potiphar could see that Joseph was a cut above the average major leader of his house of maximum promotion. Potiphar was cool and so fine. But my wife would never tell the lie. 
It's all there in chapter 39 of Genesis. She was beautiful, but he will. Saw a lot of men against his will. He would have to tell her that she still was his. You're mine. Joseph's looks and handsome figure had attracted her attention. Every morning she would beckon. Come and lie with me, love. Joseph wanted to resist her till one day she proved too eager. Joseph cried in vain. Please stop, I don't believe in free love. Pity. Close every door to me. Hide all the world from me. Bar all the windows and shut out the light. Do what you want with me. Hate me and laugh at me darken my daytime and torture my night if my life were important i would ask will i live or die but i know the answers lie far from this world Close every door to me Keep those I love from me Children of Israel Are never alone For I know I shall find My own peace of mind For I have been promised land of my own. 
Just give me a number instead of my name. Forget all about me and let me decay. I do not matter. I'm only one person. Destroy me completely, then throw me away. If my life were important, I would ask, will I live or die? But I know the answers lie far from this world. of day again. Hey, Joseph, help us if you can. We've had dreams that we don't understand. Both men were servants of Pharaoh the king. Both in the doghouse for doing their thing. One was a baker, a cook in his prime. One was a butler, the jeeves of his time. Tell me of your dreams, my friends, and I will tell you what they show. Though I cannot guarantee to get it right, I'll have a go. First the butler trembling to the floor. Nervously he spoke of what he saw. There I was standing in front of a vine. I picked some grapes and I crushed them to wine. I gave them to Pharaoh, who drank from my cup. I tried to interpret, but I had to give up. You will soon be free, my friend, so do not worry anymore. The king will let you out of here. You'll buttle as you did before. Next, the baker rose to tell his dream, hoping it would have a similar theme. There I was standing 
with baskets of bread. High in the sky, I saw birds overhead who flew to my baskets and ate every slice. Give me the message, like is would be nice. Sad to say, your dream is not the kind of dream I'd like to get. Pharaoh has it in for you, your execution date is set. Don't rely on all I said I saw. It's just that I have not been wrong before. If he cracked a joke, then you chortled for days. No one had rights or a vote but the king. In fact, you might say he was fairly right-wing. When Pharaoh's around, then you get down on the ground. If you ever find yourself near Ramesses, get down on your knees. Joseph is still doing time in jail For even though he is in with the guards A lifetime in prison seems quite on the cards But if my analysis of the position is right At the end of the tunnel there's a glimmer of light For all of a sudden indescribable things Have shattered the sleep of both peasants and kings Strange as it seems, there's been a run of crazy dreams. And a man who can interpret could go far, could become a star.
Explain old Pharaoh's tale. Pharaoh said, Well, that's, that's this Joseph, Joseph man. I need him to help me a big can. Oh, oh, Pharaoh, what you gonna do? Dreams are haunting you. Hey, what you gonna do? Problems, mighty one. Hello is in the building. Well, I was wandering alone at the banks of the river when seven fat cows came out of the Nile. Oh, yeah. And right behind these fine, healthy animals, and seven other cows that were skinny and vile. Oh, and then the thing comes in the back, I switch my thought would do do. Oh, yeah. I thought it didn't make them fatter like I thought a monster for summer should. Oh, no. Because the thing comes over as thin as they had ever, ever, ever been. All this dream has got me baffling, Joseph. What does it mean? Well, now you know that kings ain't stupid, but I don't have a clue. I don't you be true yourself. Help me now, I beg of you. I was standing doing nothing in a field out of town when I saw seven beautiful ears of corn. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were ripe, they were golden, but you guessed it right behind them. There were seven other ears that were tattered and torn. Uh -huh. Then the bad corn ate the good corn man. They came up from behind, yes, they did. But Joseph, here's a punchline. It's really gonna blow your mind, flip your lid. Because the bad corn was as bad as he had ever, 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 ever been. Well, this dream has got me all shook up, dreamy nights. Tell me what it means. Well, I 
understand the bit about the corn, but I'm not quite sure about the cows. So I was wondering if you could just give it to me one more time, Mr. Feral Man. Please? Let me show you how we're rock and rolling is yet. I was standing doing nothing in a field out of town when I saw Santa. Beautiful years have gone up. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were ripe, they were golden, but you guessed it right behind them. There were seven other ears that were tattered and torn. Oh. And then the bad corn ate the good corn, man, they came up from behind us, they did. Oh, but Joseph, here's the punchline, it's really gonna blow your mind. This is gonna flip your lid, because the bad one was as bad as he had ever, 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 ever been. But this dream has got me all shook up Treat me nice, tell me what it means yeah. Hey Hey Hey, 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 Joseph Won't you tell Paul Bumper crops are on their way. Years of plenty, endless wheat, and tons of hay. Your farms will boom, there won't be room to store the surplus food you grow. After that, the future doesn't look so bright. Egypt's luck will change completely overnight, and famine's hand will stock the land with food at all time low. Noble king, there is no doubt what your dreams are all about. All these things you saw in your pajamas are a long-range forecast for your farmers, and I'm sure it's crossed your mind. What it is you have to find Find a man to lead you through the famine With a flair for economic planning But who this man could be, I just don't know Who this man could be, I just don't know Well stone the crows, this Joseph is a clever kid Who'd have thought that 14 cows could mean the things he said they did Joseph, you must help me further, I have found a job for you You shall lead us through this crisis, you shall be my number two Pharaoh told his gods to fetch a chisel from the local store Whereupon he ordered them to cut the chains that Joseph wore Joseph got a royal pardon and a host of splendid things A chariot of gold, a cloak, a metal and some signet ring Looks to you, Joseph. Pharaoh's number two, Joseph. Egypt looks to you, Joseph. Seven summers on the truck were perfect, just as Joseph said. Joseph saw the food was gathered, ready for the years ahead. Seven years of famine followed. Egypt did not mind a bit. The first recorded rationing in history. Was a hit!
in a jam with a baffled Abraham. But now we're a partnership, it's just a piece of cake. The greatest man since Noah only goes to show up. Anyone from anywhere can make it if they get a lucky break. Ah! This could be a happy ending, perfect place to stop the show. Joseph, after all, has got about as far as he can go. But I'm sure that Jacob and his other sons have crossed your mind. How had famine hit the family Joseph left Do you remember the good years in Canaan? The summers were endlessly gold. Link we. The fields were a patchwork of clover. The winters were never too cold. We strolled down the boulevard together. A promenade simply divine. Now the fields are dead and bare. No choix de vivre anywhere. Et maintenant, we drink a bitter wine. Those Canaan days we used to know. Remember those wonderful parties. Ooh, la, la. The splendor of Canaan's cuisine. The extravagant, elegant soirees. <laughs> the gayest the Bible has seen. It's funny, but since we lost Joseph, We've gone to the other extreme. No one comes to dinner now. We'd only eat them anyhow. I even find I'm missing Joseph's dream. Those Canaan days we used to know, where well, have they gone? Those Canaan days we used to know, where have they gone? Where did they go? Eh bien, 
Praise your brothers to those Canaan dead. It's funny, but since we lost Joseph, we've gone to the ocean. Perhaps the old misjudged the lad. Perhaps he wasn't quite that bad. And how we miss his I dreamed that in the fields one day the corn gave me a sign. Your eleven sheaves of corn all turned and bowed to mine. I dreamed I saw eleven stars, the sun, the moon, and sky. Bowing down before my star, and now I realize why. How do I know where you come from? You could be spies Telling me that you are hungry That could be lies How do I know who you are? Why do you think I should help you? Would you help me? Yes! Why on earth should I believe you? I have no guarantee The way you're talking, astute and sincere. Suddenly, your tragic story gets me right here. This is what we hope to say. All the
this tugging at my heartstrings seems quite justified. I shall give you what you came for and lots more besides. Show little numbers up. One of you has stolen my precious golden cup. Joseph started searching through his brother's sacks. Everyone was nervous. No one could relax. Is it Ruben? No. Is it Simeon? No. Is it Napoli? No. Is it Dan? No. Is it Asher? No. Is it Isaka? No. Is it Levi? No. Who's the man? No. Is it Zebulun? No. Is it Gad? No. Is it Judah? has shocked me to the core. Never in my whole career have I encountered this before. Guards, seize him, lock him in a cell. Throw the keys into the Nile as well. Each of the brothers fell to his knees. Show him some mercy, almighty one, please. He would not do this, he must have been framed. Jail us and beat us, we should be Absurd. Oh yes, oh yes, it's true, it's true. Benjamin is straighter than the big bamboo. No ifs, no ifs, no buts, no buts. Benjamin is honest as coconuts. Sure as the tide washed the golden sand, Benjamin is an innocent man. Oh, sure as bananas need the sun, we are the criminal guilty ones. Oh no, oh no.
the guilty ones. Oh no, oh no, not he. No, 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 no. no. How you can accuse him is a mystery. Save him, save him, save me, save me. Better man is greater than the tough on the La la la. Joseph knew by this his brothers now were honest men. The time had come at last to reunite them all again. Can't you recognize my face? Is it hard to see that Joseph who you thought was dead? Your brother is me. I close my eyes Drew back the curtain To see for certain What I thought I knew Far, far away Someone was The world was sleeping Any dream will do I wore my coat With golden lining Bright color shining Wonderful and new And in the east the dawn was breaking, and the world was waking, any dream will do. A crash of drums, a flash of light, my golden coat flew out of sight. 
the colors faded into darkness, I was left alone. May I return, May I return to the beginning. The light is dimming, and the dream is too. Still.